President Donald Trump is turning to an old-fashioned weapon to try to get more products made in America. Tariffs. What are they? Taxes on imported products imposed at the border. Trump plans to hit $50 billion of Chinese imports with a 25% tariff in retaliation for what he says are China's unfair trading practices. China says it will strike back with its own tariffs on U.S. products. Trump has also talked in the past of slapping tariffs on companies that close U.S. factories, relocate abroad, and try to sell their products back to the U.S. But tariffs have a bad reputation. Many economists blame the Smoot-Hawley tariffs of 1930 for making the Great Depression worse by discouraging countries from trading with each other. Tariffs also drive up prices for consumers by making foreign products more expensive and allowing domestic companies to raise their prices because they face less competition. For decades after World War II, the U.S. pushed countries to lower tariffs, but the U.S. has sometimes used tariffs to punish countries it accuses of trading unfairly. That's how the U.S. got into what became known as the rubber chicken trade fight with China. In 2009, the Obama administration imposed tariffs on Chinese tires in an effort to protect American tire manufacturers. China fired back by taxing American chicken feet, a throwaway item in the U.S. that's considered a delicacy in China. Economists figure the tariff fight saved 1,200 jobs in the American tire industry. But it also drove up the price of tires as domestic producers raised prices and America imported tires from countries other than China. In the end, one think tank estimates that American consumers paid an extra $1.1 billion for tires in 2011. That's the equivalent of $927,000 for every job saved.